Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to have some fun today with some napkin decoupage. I found a couple that um, was given to me like during a swap um, because I only have one of each one of these, but I think they are so gorgeous, especially this. Look at this. That's like a vintage uh, antique rose. I might just have to start with that one. I really like that. And so I'm going to use an envelope. Now, I just grabbed what I had here at my desk, and it just happens to be a kind of a cream-colored envelope. Um, but I want to make a pocket out of this. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue the flap down because we won't need that flap. All right, so I've got my Mod Podge. Um, <clears throat> I've got a little bit in here. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. And a sponge brush and a cup of water. So the idea is I want to do this, yeah, okay, so I want to fold this over to make a pocket, it's a little deeper than I had planned on it being, but I think that'll be fine right there. So I'm going to fold it, so that's where my pocket's going to be. So I want to decoupage this and this and this, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start tearing this napkin away. This one is already separated into one ply, so I don't have to separate that. I'm just going to take some pieces and make sure they're all torn and imperfect and all that good stuff. Got a little bit of a straight edge right there. And if you have these torn edges, it, they, it just goes down smoother when you put it down on your work it's gonna it's gonna work better it's gonna hide better see that'll look good right there that'll fold up oh yeah 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 okay so I'll put that one right there and then right here let's see how about maybe this one I don't know let's see what we can do with this one they're a little big <laughs> for this size pocket but that's okay I'm gonna let it overlap let it go around to the back and Instead of trimming it off, that will just be more of the back side that will be covered. Certain sides of the napkin you can tear straight, and the other sides, uh-uh. <laughs> See, one side will let you do that, and the other side just will not. So I can put, okay, I want some green at the top there. So I'm going to rethink that for just a second. So that's the reason I'm just kind of, figuring where I want these. If I can, just kind of guess at where they're going to be. Decoupage makes such a mess. And see, I tore that piece off. It's okay, because I want, I didn't want like pink on pink. I wanted to make sure I had a little more green up this way. So I could put a little green right in here, and then maybe take the rose and put it see if that green is there. My rose could go about right there. Yippers. We'll take this piece off. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we are going to Mod Podge these pieces down. So I'm going to put those to the side. I'm going to take my sponge brush. And now for the messy part. <laughs> it does make a big mess. I kid you not. And y'all watch my videos, you know I'm already messy. And I had to get my hands and stuff. That's why I dig in the dirt. I love to garden. And most of the time, I don't wear gloves. I should, but I don't know. I just don't. So my fingernails are a wreck, but that's okay. I save money without... I don't go have them manicured very often because... I don't know. Just because... I do like a good manicure, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love beautiful nails, but it's kind of hard to have beautiful nails and have a garden. I'm always planting and digging and composting and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to put this piece up there lest it stick completely, and I don't want it to stick all over the place. So I'm going to have to, hmm, what are you going to do? Because I was going to turn this over. Hmm. Okay. May have to wait for that to dry before I can do this other part. 
Okay, so I got my heat tool, my well-loved heat tool, <laughs> and I just kind of sped that up, and it may still stick a little bit because that's just the nature of my Podge, but it's all right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and glue this flap up. We shall make it work. Okay, and I'm just using art glitter glue. Any white glue will work. All right, now we're going to do this front pocket. And you can change napkins and do different ones if you want to. I'm kind of just sticking with this, but remember I want the green up there. All right, so let's get a little bit of this. And I'm just going to cover this part with the Mod Podge. such a beautiful day here this is like day 12 of absolutely perfectly gorgeous weather high in the mid to low 80s and it's cool in the mornings it's cool in the afternoons i love this kind of weather we sit out on the porch and drink our coffee every morning and watch the hummingbirds <laughs> I've got a bunch of hummingbird feeders out, so I've got hummingbirds everywhere. Okay, now, so I'm just putting another light coat on top. And you notice I didn't cover everything. That's okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. Make sure that sticks. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take a piece of this leftover and try to get that up so that it don't stick onto the back. All right, I'm gonna dry this one. Okay, so I went ahead and just did the back, trimmed it up and everything. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I have these um, stamps, these clear stamps here, but I'm not gonna mount them on a um, acrylic block. I'm just gonna use them and they just have, okay, give me some ink now. They just have words and, little sayings and cute little things on it. Okay, this must be the dry one. I've got one that's got more ink. Okay, so I just switched over to some Distress ink because this is not going to get wet or anything anyway. Let's see. And the reason I'm not mounting these is because I don't want the whole saying on there. I just want bits and pieces of the words and stuff. You know, I'm just kind of filling in the background, giving it a little something-something. Mike can read all of that one, which is fine. I don't care. Just put a little bit here and part of this one here and maybe run off the edge right there. There we go. Okay, so we've got it stamped. Now, the next thing I want to do is add some dimension. Okay, so for this, I am using modeling paste. You watch Hobby Lobby. You can get this on sale for half price or at least they used to do that. And... I am going to use the stencil, which apparently I've never used before. Yay! It's got all these alphabets in it. That's cool. So I'm just going to put a letter here and there. So I got a little bit of modeling paste. I'm holding my stencil down really tight and I'm giving it a letter. Down here, I'm going to go for that little heart right there. Cover that real good. Pick that up. All right, and let's put, let's get just a little more, whoop, not that much. Let's put, now I'm kind of holding it up so it doesn't get on that one that I've already done. Let's go part of the Y and the Z. And So I'm not really doing anything that makes any sense. I'm just playing. I tell my husband I'm going to go to my room and play with my toys. <laughs> That's because I haven't done much crafting lately. I've been... I've been busy. I've been cooking and canning and pickling and fermenting and doing all kinds of things in the kitchen. So I haven't been out here to my craft room much lately. All right. So this is what I've done. Now, I don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to let it dry for just a hint before I flip it over and do the other side. But I'll, I'll fast forward that. Okay, so it's not really dry, dry, completely dry, but it's dry enough to move on. All right, let's have 
Let's have maybe a little bit of a J and a K right there. Let's pick that up. And let's put a S and a T right here. Maybe this little equals thing down here. And what else? Oh, there's a little envelope. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see if I can get that. It's a little miniature envelope. <laughs> that's so cute. All right. Um, yes, I'm easily amused. It doesn't take much to make me happy. <laughs> and how about, uh, let's see. What do we want? What do we want? I need one more little something. Let's see if I can get something in here. There we go. Okay, so if you have a palette knife, this works really, really good. If you don't have a palette knife, you could use like a plastic knife or anything that you could get a good flat edge on it. All right. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I've got my Distress Ink here, and I'm just putting a little on my clear mat, and I'm going to spray it with water, and I'm going to probably should have wet my brush first but I'm gonna stick my brush in there and I'm gonna attempt to make some splatters I like splatters kind of just ties everything together to me if you can get any sometimes <laughs> I'm not seeing much are coming out so little oh here they go here they go all right that's what I want add ah yeah oh yeah booyah okay let's do this side a few little splatters here and there. Probably just not got enough water on there. But that's okay. That's cute. And that's what I wanted. There we go. All right. Now, that is done. We'll let that dry for a minute. And, ooh, we're going to have fun. Okay. So, I found some lace. Some vintage lace in my stash. And I'm thinking it would be so pretty right there. So, 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 so. I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix, I believe this is. But same thing. I'm going to put some of that right here on this edge. I'm going to glue that lace there. All right, so we're waiting for it to come down. And it don't take a whole lot. This dries pretty fast, too. All right, so I'm putting my little piece of lace right on the edge, and I'm letting it overlap the top just for fun and for lofts and giggles. <laughs> that little piece right there wants to stick up, and I don't want him to. Come on, come on, glue. This stuff, I guess it gets thicker the older it gets. I mean, I've had this bottle for a while, but heavens, it gets so thick, and it takes so long if it's not a full bottle it takes so long to come down to the tip all right ah I see another spot sticking up all right so we get this little spot down and see it's all coming together now we're going to add a couple of more embellishments and then we've got a nice pocket to add to a journal you could stick it in a journal pocket or you could um paper clip it onto the side so we did both sides, so you could actually remove it if you wanted to. All right, so there's my lace. I found this little um, dingle dangle thing that I had made sometime in the past. And I wanted something tiny to dangle on here, but I felt like it needed some color. So I went over there and got these beads. These are large seed beads, or we used to call them rocales. I don't think... They may still call them rocales, but it just says seed beads on here. These are 6 of seed beads. And I'm going to add some pink. One, well, let's see. Hold on a second. I'm going to take that off. Because I want some pink on both sides. So I'm going to add some pink. And then that's a daisy. And that's a jump ring, a welded jump ring. And another piece of pink bead and a bell and a little tag and another pink this big circle another little daisy and a pink so anything goes just grab what you've got what you've got in your stash 
And see, now it's going to match so much better. Just needed a little pink in there. All right, so what I'm going to do with that, I've got this cord here, this uh, jute twine, jute twine stuff. And I'm going to wrap it twice down here because this is where I want it. And I want it to slide up. I want it to be up there a little bit more like so. All right, now make sure that fits. Okay, so I'm going to put my little bulb pin, my little embellished bulb pin. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go around and around. And I'm going to have that dangling. But I want this tied about right here. You could tie it in the middle, but I'm going to tie it a little off to the side just because. I want it tight enough that it's not going to fall off, but I don't want it so tight that it um, warps the little pocket. All right, push it up a little. And for my pen, I want it to hang that way. There we go. Look how cute that is. Got a little dingle, dingle, dingle. All right. Now, um, you could actually slip something under there too, like a little tag if you wanted to on the back side. But on the front, I just think it needs one more thing. Okay. So I decided two more things. <laughs> of course, I've got this little saying here, the only way to have a friend is to be one. And I'm going to mount that because it's so tiny onto this um, dark cardstock and we're going to add that to our front. Now I usually take this little tool here and just rough up the edges a little bit but these pieces are so tiny I don't I don't think I'm able to try it's way too small. Okay now I'm going to add my words oh and by the way this is a two-piece butterfly it is muslin and organza muslin on the bottom and organza on the top I'm going to add him also so, I kind of want to leave this. Well, this wouldn't be in the way, though. This wouldn't be in the way if I added that. All right, so I'm going to put my words up here at the top. And I'm going to just turn them sideways a little bit, make sure I get the phrase in the right order. <laughs> to have a friend is to be one. I'll put that right there. Now, I'll let those stick just a little bit. And I am going to get a flat um, ink inker, and I'm just going to go over those words just a little bit because they just looked a little bit too bright. Okay, that probably was too much, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to get the butterfly in here, and I want him to go probably about right there. And I'm, all I'm doing is gluing his body. I'm letting the wings and all. Oh, I forgot the frou-frou. Hold it. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I want to put my frou-frou behind him. Kind of give him something to land on so it don't look like he's just hanging in midair. <laughs> so I'm putting a little bit of glue if I can get it to come out. Come on, you. And I'll put some on his body again on the back. Oh, excuse me. I get choke. All right. This is just some eyelash yarn. I'm going to just kind of put it right in there. Put the tail in if I can. Then, Mrs. Butterfly, you may go right there in the middle. And we're going to embellish her body and just do something really pretty. Okay, so what I've got is this chain of crystals in the Aurora Borealis color, which is all those beautiful rainbow-looking colors. And that is going to be my butterfly's body. I'm trying to get it straight. There we go. I like it. Now, you've got a pocket here to stick something in. You got a spot here that you could stick something behind. You could use that as a belly band if you wanted to. And then these are still up and flying. If I'd have realized I was going to put the butterfly there, I probably would have put my knot over here, which I imagine I can still slide it around there and it won't hurt a thing. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have fun 
trying this and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.